um, assign the button at certain, in theory, so it knows it's a button. So we go UI button button with type UI button type rounded rect. So this will be a rounded rectangle shaped button. Then we're going to go button convert add target, and the ID is self, and the action is at selector always. And then we're going to use the procedure we created up here. So we're going to convert to pop up, and it will show it. And then you just press enter. So in four control events, we type UI control event. Touch up inside. So basically, oh, sorry, inside. So when they click in the in the button, that's when the uh, button or action will be um, triggered. Uh, then we want to go button convert. I'm going to set the title to. Uh, convert and I'm going to say UI control state this people don't normally change this because it doesn't really make much of a difference but it's basically when it's not being touched um, then we're going to create the frame size so we're going to go button convert dot frame equals CG rect make and then I'm going to use 20, uh, 108, uh, 90, sorry, we'll go for 280, make it the same as the text field. Close the bracket and then semicolon, and we're going to go self.view and subview button convert. Okay, and there we are, we have our message and button. Sorry, I'm actually going to change my text back to about 18.0. Right, that'll do. Um, so basically that's it for creating objects. And now we need to handle the procedure convert to pop-up, which is up here. So basically we want to say, when the user presses this um, button, it's going to take the text from within the text field chuck it into a string which is like a local or computer made uh, text uh, file thing and then we're going to display that as a UI alert view or pop up okay so first I want to know that my button is actually working so I'm going to do nslog and it's I'll say uh, button working so if we set this up right which we may have, we may not have we'll get a little NS log every time we click the button. As you can see in my output window, every time I click this, it's showing button working. This is useful because it, it sometimes you may have done something wrong here and it's not actually what you've done wrong in the method. Okay, so that's NS log and then at button working. I'll show you how to use NS logs more efficiently when we start handling data. Okay, so next we want to convert text field text to string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a string which is only local, so I can't access it in view did load. It's purely for this method. I'm going to call it n string string temp message, and we're we're going to say it equals a n string and string with format is what we want and then we want text field sorry field message dot text so basically this will take sorry um, oh that's okay that's basically saying that we haven't used it yet so it's basically asking you what is the point in creating it because you haven't used it and the next thing that's telling us is it's potentially insecure. So what we can do is go at quotation marks, comma, uh, field message, or text. And then in here, we put percent at. And this will take the text from the uh, field message. 
Next of all, we want to actually use the um, string. So we're going to uh, start to create the UI alert view now. But first of all, if we just leave it like this, if we enter a message and we just press convert, you'll notice that the um, one, the pop up doesn't show because we haven't programmed that yet, to the keyboard stays. To get the keyboard to disappear, we want to go self resign first responder, close bracket, semicolon. Basically, this will tell the keyboard to go away. Uh, the view is going to take control again now. So if we just press enter, click convert, but what you'll notice is it hasn't actually entered uh, or just got rid of the keyboard. So maybe self.field message. It all depends how you. Yeah, and now it's working. So if we type our message and then we press convert, the keyboard disappears. So we need to do self.field message resign first responder. Now we want to create the alert view. So we're going to create the alert view by a new alert view. Uh, alert message. And I'm going to say equals UI alert view. Alert view unlock. And then this is where Xcode is superb because then you go in it and it brings up everything you need to fill in. So go in it with title. We're going to say at message. You can obviously use whatever you like. And then this is where this comes in handy because then we can just recall the temporary string. So we're going to call string. As you can see, it's popped up. The delegate is going to be self. The cancel button title is going to be dismiss. And we don't need any other buttons, so we just type nil. Then, if I go to the end, I can just close the square bracket. Sorry, this is Xcode failing, not me. Normally, it would auto complete it for you. And then we have it, that's complete. We just have a semicolon on the bottom. And there we go. However, if I run this, you'll notice if I type in my message and press convert, nothing happens. The alert view still stays, um, theoretically. Uh, and it gives you a hint here, unused variable alert message. So I want to go alert message show. Close bracket, semicolon. And now, if all's gone well, we can just go uh, welcome to RDS, convert, there we go. Obviously this works for longer message is iOS development. And then we go convert. Welcome to RDS, you're watching a tutorial about iOS development. And when we press dismiss, it goes away. Okay guys, that was a quick tutorial on how to uh, use text fields, alert views and strings along with buttons to display the alert view which is a final uh, product.